Hello, my name is Sia Donishman. I'm Director of Urologic Oncology at University of Southern California in Los Angeles. So uh, today we talked about um, the controversies in non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. Um, I think there are a number of new controversies that have emerged uh, over the past few years, uh, both in low-grade disease and high-grade disease. Uh, one of the issues in, in low-grade disease is uh, uh, whether we're over-treating patients, uh, or, uh, we're told to give these patients uh, uh, post-TUR intravesical therapy uh, to reduce recurrence rates, and that, that is usually mitomycin. Uh, uh, there's been a number of trials showing the reduction in recurrence rates uh, with uh, this, but uh, I think we tend to forget that this can actually can be toxic therapy, and in a few percentage of patients, uh, there are idiosyncratic reactions that happen uh, with mitomycin. And now, fortunately, I, we have an uh, alternative. Uh, Jim Cytobin, uh, the SWOG study recently was published by Dr. Ed Messing, showed a nice reduction in, in recurrence rates. And importantly, although this trial was really meant for patients with low-grade disease, there were a uh, few with high-grade disease that uh, made it into the, in, into the trial because the histology was unknown. And so I think uh, in the future we'll be revisiting this issue, whether mitomycin is the drug that we should be using or should we uh, really switch to, to gemcitabine. Other issues in, in uh, non-muscle invasive and low-grade disease particularly are uh, the improved diagnostic tools that we have. We now have uh, enhanced cystoscopy, such as uh, narrowband imaging uh, and um, uh, uh, blue light cystoscopy that it allows us to better detect tumors. Uh, uh, flexible blue light cystoscopy is now available uh, in the office and, and we're able to better detect them. So the next question is, can we uh, uh, continue to manage these patients in the office now that we're detecting them at uh, earlier stages? Also, for patients who have many comorbidities, uh, there is mounting evidence that perhaps we could be doing surveillance on these patients. So those are some of the issues, I think, in low-grade disease. Uh, as far as high-grade disease goes, I think the main focus really is high-grade T1. We, we need better tools to understand high-grade T1 disease. We have a lot of uh, histological, clinical uh, features of high-grade T1 that we've been using. Uh, over the uh, past few years, they've been validated in multiple series, uh, but now we're moving into an era where we have more molecular prognostication, molecular characterization of these tumors, and can they be additive uh, to the histological features that we already see? Uh, we know that uh, cystectomy can be curative in a high percentage of these patients, uh, but is that too aggressive a treatment, for instance, for patients with focal high-grade T1 or those who don't have aggressive features? I think also uh, our understanding of variant histology um, is, is uh, uh, coming to a point where uh, we're better managing patients with the, uh, the, first of all, they're being better diagnosed uh, as, as these variants are increasingly recognized, uh, but, but uh, also we're, we're able to stratify patients uh, 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 better and, and offer aggressive treatment to those who need it and, and less aggressive tre treatments to those patients who perhaps are high risk for surgery. Uh, questions arise as to whether there are alternative therapies uh, for um, uh, high-grade T1 patients, whether a combination of chemotherapy radiation uh, can be uh, offered to these patients. I think those are uh, um, uh, areas of future research. So in summary, uh, I think there are a number of areas uh, that we need to continue to do work in uh, to try to better understand uh, the optimal treatment uh, for a very difficult and complex disease uh, that can be uh, that we need better stratification, better diagnosis, and better treatments for. And I think we're well on our way. Thank you.